Um, am I on the microphone? Yes. Yeah. So, um, my name is James Coxon, if you haven't met me before, um, and welcome to the UK House Trust Society Conference for 2013, third year in a row. I've um, got a few things to talk about before we actually start doing the talks and various things like that. Um, I haven't actually got a plan about how this is going to work, so I'm just going to ramble for a while. Um, first of all, we are streaming it this year, third year in a row, but first two years didn't work. So, um, just to make aware that people who are doing presentations, you're going to need microphones, please talk into them. I think this one's attached to me in some, some way. So remember you've got a microphone um, and we've got on camera as well. So obvious sort of be sensible on the camera feed as well. Um, so that's, that's, that's what's going on with that. Um, the plan is for a morning of talks, um, some relatively long ones, some short ones as well. Um, and we'll sort of see how that goes. It's quite informal in the sense that we tried to be quite strict before and it always overruns, so we'll do it this way. Um, and then we've got lunch, and then this afternoon we're doing a couple of things. We've got some workshops, um, some sort of informal Q&As. Really, we've got time to sort of do whatever we want to do. Um, there's the radio exam as well for those who have signed up for that as well, and I think they'll be getting some practice in beforehand, is that right? The practical side of it all. Um, uh, and if you're interested but haven't signed up for the exams, unfortunately you can't sign up now, too late. However, it would be a good opportunity to perhaps ask some questions to people who know what they're doing about it, you know, and perhaps you will be able to then go along to another exam that regularly run around, around the country um, and get your licence if you're interested in doing that. Um, I thought we were, I mean, this wasn't initially the plan, but we put up space near us. So if you guys, I don't know, lots of you have very, you know, built this thing, but the others of you perhaps don't know about it very well. This is the mapping software that we use for tracking, well, it's one of the mapping softwares we use for tracking balloons. Um, uh, and um, we just thought we'd put up probably the, the best flight we've had for a while. Well, two flights we've had for a while. Um, so I'm pleased to say that we've probably broken the duration record. Well, I have, we haven't at all, actually. Any one person's done it. The dura amateur duration record. But I also wanted to say, I think that that is really cool. And we'll, we'll talk about those sort of balloons later. But... The cooler thing is how many green antenna are on here. Yeah, so, you know, so back in the day, I mean, my talk is about back in the day anyway, so you'll get lots of this in a second, but, you know, we had a couple of people. You know, and look at the UK. This map takes half an hour to load right now. There are so many blooming points on it. Um, but the other thing is, you know, we've I've got French listeners. The Netherlands, always strong for us. You know, Belgium, Germany, Poland are better than us. <laughs> doing yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Denmark, you know, they wait very patiently, Denmark, for our balloons, and then they're there. We've even got a Swedish one up there, and that's probably the furthest north we've got, and we know that the Latvians are ready to pick up the rest when, you know, when, when, when it's coming that out. I mean, you also couldn't ask for a better flight path than this, you know, it's sort of just looping around slowly. Um, very, very cool, and I actually think to Leo, I mean, that's a... Where, where is Leo? He doesn't want to be known about. That's it. That's the last time I did that to Leo. That's the yeah, there you go. So, so um, I look forward to him emailing this to the amateur radio high altitude balloon list and putting it on and beating the 84 hours or whatever they've got on there as the record with the six and a half days. Um, so, so far, exactly. It hasn't come down yet. Hurry up. Um, right, okay, so that's that one. There. Um, I'm trying to think, okay, so going back to sort of all, uh, I, the rest of the itinerary and various things like that, um, we do want this to be informal. Um, certainly in my talks, and I suspect everyone else's thoughts, they'd be very happy for questions to be asked. Um, we have a radio mic to be handed around, or we can just repeat the questions back as well. It's a bit echo, so you might as well get an echo shout. Would have shout. Um, the other thing to notice is that if you're, yeah, if you, if you, you guys can hear me, but they may not be able to hear us over there. Um, and on that side, with the streaming, can we just thank everybody who's been involved with all the streaming as well? I know it's only started and we see how it goes, but um, they worked really hard. <laughs> came, in, came in yesterday, you know, came in early, and, and, and actually that's one of the big problems, is trying to set up a new place, so they've done really well with that as well. So at the end, we'll give them a round of applause. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll get the feedback for first. Right, okay, so I'm going to leave this, I'm going to swap onto my, my presentation, so we might break the thing for a while. Let's see. Let's see if Anthony's laptop can do it.